Hey, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're looking at personal space heaters. We've got three different personal space heaters here we're going to be looking at. We've got the Vornado. This is the VH202 personal space heater. This is a 750 watt personal space heater that has a high setting and an efficiency setting. So it's basically the 750 watts or a lower uh, wattage than that. Then we have a 500 watt oscillating personal space heater from Ivapo, I-V-A-P-O. This is just a nice looking little white unit here. And again, these are, I'll put links for these in the description below so you can find these two online. The final one is basically one I had picked up at a big box store. They were basically selling a pallet of these and they were running at about nine to $10 a piece. Very inexpensive. This is a 200 watt personal space heater. You've seen variations of this where they just plug straight into the wall. This one does have a cord. This was again about $10. This one runs about $40 online, and I think this one ran about $30 online. So let's take a little more in-depth look at some of the positives and negatives of each. First off, we're gonna start with the inexpensive one. This particular one has just a simple switch on the back. It has a two-prong cord that it plugs into. We'll turn it on. It, little fan noise, it produces some heat, and you can feel some heat coming off the unit. The thing is, is that you'll see I'm using it and I can do whatever, I, there's no auto, auto tipping switch where it will shut off. So if it fell down on its face, it's producing heat and it could cause problems. So some of those cheap ones you find at the big box stores may not be such a great deal. Next, let's move to the Ivapo. Now this particular one has a switch on the front for the oscillating and it has a switch on the back for the power. We'll turn it on and you notice it's not on. It's because it has a safety switch. This little button right here is the safety switch. So without that making contact, it won't turn on. Now being a 500 watt, it's going to produce more than a 200 watt in that. And if I push the button here, it's now going to oscillate. So I could put this under my desk and having it oscillating back and forth, and it would help to take that chill off, you know, that sometimes you get on your feet and legs when you've been sitting in the winter months at your desk for a long time. And the last one we're gonna look at is the Vornado. This is the VH202. And on the back of that, it has two switches. It has its power switch, and then it has the switch that goes from a efficiency mo efficient mode to a fan to the higher mode, which would be the 750 watts. We set that down so its tip over switch is now activated. And we have our, let's see, we're in the high mode right now for the 750 watts. Take a listen. It's much quieter. We go to middle where it's just fan. And then we can go to the very bottom where it is the efficiency mode. So it's being a less than 750 watt heater right now. So a couple of the uh, things that, of course, you need to look out for. No tip over protection. This would be one I would definitely not recommend a person getting unless you're going to be using it somewhere where you're going to be there with it all the time. If you're there and you're only going to use it when you're there, this could be a good option. But for most people, I would highly recommend not going with this one because if it tips over on its face and you're not paying attention, you could have problems. Now for the last two, they both have tip over protection and they both have been tested and such to be safe to use in homes. Two definitely good options here. The, really the big question becomes is where you're going to use this. If you're going to use this on any sort of carpeting whatsoever, in this particular office area, we have a very low pile. We've got a commercial carpet, just a very, very low pile. And this will not work on it. And the biggest reason for that is if you take a look at that little pin, I'm gonna move that right up in there. And you can see that little tiny pin, that will not activate on carpeting whatsoever. So the only way this one will work is on hard surfaces. If you're okay with that, this is a fabulous option. I love the oscillating. I love the heat it produces. 500 watts is a nice heat that will work. In our office, when I'm doing video work and such, sometimes it's 65 degrees, and then on the floor, it's even colder in the wintertime. This would be a great option, except I'm on that, that uh, commercial carpet. Where the Vornado has a foot, just a little bit larger foot, which will touch your carpeting, That and this one works on this carpeting all day long. So one little downfall in the design of this, if you're going to be on any kind of a thin or, or, or short carpet, this won't work for you and you'd have to go to something like the Vornado. I'll put links in the description so you can check all of the, the different types of uh, personal space heaters out online and see what their pricing is going for today. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Thank you for watching. 
For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com. <laughs>